Hello lovely people, this is Chef and Knife. Thank you for watching my videos. I know that it's been a long time that I upload any videos for the review, right? Today it's something different. It's not about knife and other theories. Today is all about casserole. It's hardcore casserole, not plastic, not wood just steel proper steel or heavy bottom uh, Dutch oven you can say that right I do have two Dutch oven with me uh, I'm not going to mention their names because I'm not getting sponsored from these companies so it's been more than nine years more than nine years they are with me I use these two uh, not too much but yeah I use these uh, from long time and it's good so there are lots of review that how you uh, take care of your cast iron skillet and how you maintain your skillet right from my point of view what I'm gonna mention you that, that whenever you use using your skillet right make sure that you take care of it right and most of all you know, what I'm going to explain you that what kind of skillet you need when you are cooking is heavy bottom right heavy bottom and uh, I know uh, when you are using it right it's going to get some stain uh, lots of time and uh, you can see that right too much cooking make making this pot uh, losing its color finishing right paint or stickiness right because of too much hardcore using I use my pot like a very uh, good way so I got two pot two cost uh, two pots one is this second is this one uh, well that's like mm, six to eight liter that's like four liter something like that that's eight liter and that's four liter so yeah it's pretty good pretty good pretty good i'm not using this one but i'm using this one also because you can make a good stew and uh, a good piece of motion meats so basically yeah it's a good pot uh spend around two hundred and thirty dollars on this one and it was around and this one was around 180 this was around 230 and that's was 180 so these two uh, cast iron Dutch oven you can say that right let's talk about Dutch oven basically uh, from my point of view you need a good handle to grab it right I've seen uh, lots of Dutch oven which have a small handle like small handle so it's not easy to pick it up but whenever you're buying it whenever you're buying a dutch oven just remember you need to grab it also so if you see a good open area which is easy to handle because you're going to wear a gloves or you're going to grab a tea towel to pick it up right so a good open area and a good material if you want to buy a Dutch oven as a chef my review for the Dutch oven will be straight cut forward that whenever you're buying a Dutch oven right see that first just feel it right feel their uh, grabbing area right this way because at the end you're going to use a tea towel right you're going to use a tea towel like this one right you're going to use a tea towel like this one to grab your cast iron skull see so you need a you need a good uh, material to grab it to hold on I've seen lots of cast iron which have a small uh, area to pick uh, the chowan I don't think that you need a small 
handle you need a big handle right to grab a dutch oven you need a big handle so whenever you buying it right think that you need to get a good uh, grabbing dutch oven area so fit for for the kitchen right they are heavy heavy bottom but they are perfect on every type of using because these are heavy one and they are like a cream see uh, it's been uh, rusted you can see that right it's been rusted so yeah it, it's a good dutch oven i can see that that's my point of view if you're buying a good dutch oven there are lots of loft, lots of dutch oven in the market and uh, so how many people do you have how many you how many people are using dutch oven at home not 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 lot right as a professional cook or professional chef you use dutch oven because of uh, it's a good way to preserve heat for a long time right good material that's that's what i think and you can use uh, these dutch oven for uh, every kind of job in a kitchen if you don't have any dutch oven if you want to buy it first of all just see how much you can spend if you want to buy a dutch oven because dutch oven are not cheap they're expensive so there are ranges uh, if you're going to buy a dutch oven i do have two dutch oven i do have a cast iron skillet at home so if you want i'm going to review that skillet also in the next video and uh, I do have some uh, other equipments which I'm going to share with you uh, in soon or later. Today it's all about Dutch oven, right? So how you compare a Dutch oven at for home? If you looking to buy a, a Dutch oven for your home, like if you want to buy a Dutch oven for a home, or if you want to, if you're looking to buy a Dutch oven for home use. For home purpose my theory will be uh, buy a dutch oven which suits your pocket right there are lots of lots of dutch oven which is around starts around hundred dollar it goes around 450 250 350 650 depends on your pocket if you want to go for four four liter eight liter six liter you need to think that how much uh, quantity you want to cook on on the Dutch oven and you can use the Dutch oven on everyday cooking you can cook anything stew soups even you can cook your rice risottos even pasta sauces even you can put this Dutch oven in oven you can uh, make cornbread on this Dutch oven you can do every kind of thing from the Dutch oven so even if you are grilling, right, you can use this Dutch oven on your barbecue. You can use this Dutch oven as a smoker also. Just pour your uh, smoking material, lid it, and throw your stuff on that area. So Dutch oven can be used in a lot of uh, ways at home. If you are a fresh home cook, right, or a professional guy who cooks, or a living right as a professional chef we ev everyone in this industry as a professional guy we use Dutch oven so my question is how many people you how many people use Dutch oven at home and if you want to if you're looking to buy a Dutch oven first you need to see how much you can spend and see the handle see the grabbing grabbing area because it have to be a, a wide open to use your hand or a, or a towel right to grab it because the main reason if you, if if these these handles are small 
it's hard to grab them because they get heat very fast they are a good conductor of heat so you need a good handle to grab them and uh, work with them so that's the first thing second your material what steel and what is the white and what will be uh, how to maintain it you need to f understand how to maintain a, a dutch oven or casserole then you, you need to understand that how you're going to uh, make sure that your dutch oven stays with you this this these two are more 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 than nine years old so think about it these two are like around more than nine years i bought it around 2010 it's 2020 so 10 years in working right these two think about it i spent around more than 200 dollar on these two still with me still i'm happy with it right still they are working fine and uh, it's a good dutch oven i use this dutch oven in uh, every kind of meal uh, every kind of situation so if you're planning to buy a dutch oven my point of view will be uh, see how much you can spend see the handle size to grab it and uh, how you going to use it right because every Dutch oven have its uh, area where you work it on right thank you for watching my videos these two are my favorite Dutch oven and if you if you want to uh, get more about Dutch oven please write your comment let uh, and if you have any question write your comment I love to reply you on email if you if you need more reviews do let me know and hope everyone at home will be safe and secure this is chef and knife thank you for watching my videos and have a lovely day guys thank you